Uh, thank you. Um, I'd like to congratulate the Birmingham Stallions on a fantastic season and obviously a great game tonight. Um, we couldn't slow them down. Uh, they, we, we had a couple drives early uh, where I thought we had some success and, and, and we fall down on the interception and, and it kind of spiraled on us from there. Uh, but I'd like to congratulate Coach Holtz and his team uh, for playing a fantastic game and, and having a fantastic season. On side note, um, I'm, I just told our players um, I, I was I was proud of the way we fought till the end. Uh, that's what we do. Um, there is no give up on our team. We don't do everything perfect all the time, but there's no give up on our on our in our organization. Coaches, players, managers, equipment staff, anybody. So I couldn't be prouder uh, the way we finished, um, and we kept fighting. And there was no quit in our team. And uh, even when things were looking really, really bad, uh, there was no quit. And so um, I'm, I'm really, really proud of our, of our team tonight. Um, I had a fantastic experience. Um, there's a lot of great people. Um, you know, uh, Moose Johnston, De you know, Coach Pop, um, Darren James, you know, uh, Bruce in the equipment room. There's a lot of guys that are here that are unbelievably supportive of the coaches um, in our league. Um, and, and if you ask for something, they're going to do whatever they try to can to get it for you um, in terms of whether it be a place to practice, whether it be, you know, something you need for a player. Um, it, 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 we're unbelievably supported. Uh, by the top of our league. And so um, you, I couldn't ask for more support, um, you know, since the day I got hired. Um, you know, these guys at the top of the, the chain has, had been with me all throughout the hospital, have been unbelievably supportive of when I showed up here in a walker, um, and, and I can't thank them enough for that. And so um, I, learned, I learned a lot, you know, and, and I, I just told our team I, I'm really looking forward, you know, to having an exit Zoom meeting with all of them to see where we can get better. And not only, you know, I, I'd, I want their feedback. Hey, what can we do better installation? What can we do better in terms of on the field? How can we make this a more player-friendly environment? So I, I'm looking forward to self-scouting myself and taking some time away um, for a week or so until I really start honing in on, on what we can do better as a coaching staff so this doesn't happen again next year. Oscar, would you like to unmute and ask your question? Oscar, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Oscar. Good night. Uh, I just want to say in public, uh, thank you so much, Coach, for this wonderful uh, season. And uh, the better is uh, the brotherhood we have. Thank you so much. I just want to say these words. Gracias, amigo. Hey, right back at you, my friend. And, and, and Oscar, I can't thank you enough for tuning in each week and, and you know, having questions ready. It means a lot that, that uh, your support means a lot to our league, not only our league, but to, to our team. And, and um, I, I've really appreciated our friendship that has grown since the season started. Yeah. Um, yeah. First off, our fans have been awesome. I mean, the amount of, you know, New Orleans is just such a the state of Louisiana itself is just such a football crazed state that they just love football and they love all their football and, and we're, we're very fortunate to be a part of that. And um, you know, uh, hopefully we're down there sooner than later uh, for our fans. And, and and if that's the case, that'd be great. And if if not, then you know they'll continue to support us from afar. And so uh, we can't appreciate them enough. Um, and just, you know, for me personally, um, you know, I thanked our team. Um, they, they were with me every step of the way. Uh, there were a lot of days that, you know, I uh, wasn't feeling so hot. And uh, I could just look in the – I wasn't going to be in front, of the, in front of our team limping or, or dragging, you know, dragging around. You know, I wasn't going to allow that to happen because, you know, those guys, those guys deserve better. They work too hard. So um, I just want to – I thank them in there for – Welcome me with open arms as well. Um, RJ has a question. RJ, you want to unmute and ask a question? Hey, Coach, I just wanted to tell you I am very impressed with your first year. Uh, I, you're my coach of the year. I, I was really impressed with what you were able to do. Thank you, RJ. It means a lot. I, I'm curious, as a man who was quarterback coach, Nick Foles, Glenn, winning the Super Bowl, can you give me your evaluation of 
Alex Magoo and what kind of quarterback he's been in this league, and perhaps in the future. Yeah. You know, I don't know a lot of people know this. I, Alex was in the quarterback room when I was the offensive coordinator of the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2019. So I know Alex very well. I mean, I see sat in a meeting room every day. And I'll tell you, I'm proud of Alex. I really am. Uh, and I know he kicked our butt tonight. And But I'm, I, there's a piece of me as his coach that's proud of him, proud as heck of him. He's done a tremendous job of, of, of maturing and not turning the ball over. He hasn't put the ball in harm's way as much as he used to as a younger player. And um, obviously, you know, we had a hard time containing him tonight. You know, he got out to the right. He got out to the left. He got out through the middle. And, you know, in our previous two games, you know, he got out, I think, one time in two games for 12 yards. You know, it was roughly something of that nature. So, um, you know, we let him out tonight. And um, he did his thing. And, and congratulations to him. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate everyone this year. Thank you. Thank you, Heather.